What do you want to get for food? Juice. Juice. We don't have juice here. You're going to pick up the fish? Wow. Look at that. It's a big fish. And what's now? Thank you. St. <laughs> John's? St. John's. St. John's, okay. St. John Dory. It's a Thank you very much already. <laughs> okay, have a good day. Yeah. We went in for a fish, got this weird looking fish. It's called St. Pierre US from the US. It's a very, very interesting looking fish. You're gonna have to look it up and see how to cook it. But more interesting than that, <laughs> what I am most excited about trying is this new energy drink. It kind of looks like Red Bull, but it's black, and it's called Conino Lamborghini. Okay, what does it got here? 2810 calories, riboflavin, riboflavin, niacin, vitamin B12, caffeine, 80 milligrams made in Italy. It smells just like Red Bull. Tastes just like Red Bull, only stronger. A little more powerful with a more medicine-y aftertaste. Still pretty good. All right, now we gotta Google how to cook that fish. Wee. What fish is the Saint Pierre in English? Wee. I can't translate into American English yet, but I can translate into French, German, Italian, Mandarin Chinese, and Spanish. What fish is Saint Pierre in Mandarin? Here we go, St. Pierre fish, John Dory. It's called John Dory. Finding John Dory <laughs> refers to the fish of the genus Zeus, especially Zeus Faber of the widespread distribution. It is an edible benthic coastal marine fish with a laterally compressed olive yellow body, which has a large dark spot. This must be a different type because that one's silver and blue. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, here, listen to this. As food, the cookery writer Elisa Acton observes in her 1845 book, Modern Cookery for Private Families, that John Dory, though of uninviting appearance, is considered by some persons as the most delicious fish that appears at table. She recommends simply baking it very gently, avoid drying it out in the oven. If there's one thing I'm good at, it is not drying things out in the oven. This fish is tremendously bizarre. What do you think, Barney? What do you think of this? Fish. Fish. Okay, so let's look at this thing. The skin basically feels like a, like a bald cat, like the skin of a Siamese cat. What's really cool, I'm gonna have to wash your hands after that, so keep them away from your mouth. No, away from your mouth. And what's really super cool are these scales on the top right here, which are like, very, listen, they're like hard plates. You want to eat some of it? You want something to eat? Okay, in a second. They're like these very hard plates. They remind they were they remind me a lot of the scales on a sturgeon in the pattern on this. So I'm going to look up whether or not this fish has any distant relation to the sturgeon. Look at the mouth by the way. Look at this. Look at this. This is how the mouth, very small, when it opens up. Whoa. Whoa. See, it probably like goes and like sucks up the little crabs on the bottom of the water. Look at that. Totally cool. And it's very fat around the shoulder and the belly is totally hollow. So like all of the meat basically starts in the tail section and up to the shoulders. I imagine there's some in the cheek. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna put that away. I'm gonna wash your hands first. Hold on. 
I need to wash your hands. <laughs> I'm going to wash your hands whether you like it or not. Your hand. Okay, here's what we're doing. Chunk of butter in the belly. Some dry thyme in the belly. Two slices of lime in the belly. Some turmeric, which I found in the fridge. Apparently my wife says this is like ginger but orange. In the belly. A little spritz of lime on the outside. Should have done that on the other side first, so we're gonna switch it up. There we go. Open it! Yeah, dude, I'm, I, I want the tin foil. I want to be able to reuse the tin foil. <laughs> that, you, you don't, no touching you, Hefner. Yeah, it's it. crazy, eh? What is it? I it's called you a, it down. No, no, this is it. It's called a John Dory. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Is that cool? Yeah. yeah, but don't touch it anymore. No more touching. Look at his mouth. It's mouth, you can tell it's like, it just... Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, so now we're going to open this up. This fish is nowhere near cooked, Marion! No, it's still raw! It's not even warm! Get, get out of here. Just, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm taking the top off. I'm gonna broil it. For whatever the reason that fish didn't get cooked, didn't get cooked, we're gonna go to broil. We're gonna go to high. We're gonna go to start. Boom! This chicken is looking more and more delicious by the minute. This. Yeah, the fish is coming. Hold on one second. We're gonna pull the skin off. That skin is like leather. That's amazing. This really needs probably a little more salt and pepper on it. I'm just gonna go ahead and... That has a fishy taste to it. Marin! Come in here! This actually tastes like bass. It has a bit of a fishy taste to it. We'll see if we'll see if the wife discovers that taste. Is it cooked? It's cooked. I've eaten a lot of it already. Mmm. <laughs> that? Mmm. Delicious. Children, taste. Hey, Marty. Uh, are you gonna taste this? After. After what? Get it right side up and taste the fish. Did you try it yet? Yes, I've eaten half of the fish. I want to give you some. What do you think? Yes, sir. Salmon. You think it tastes like salmon? It has the same consistency, maybe. Your sister, get that dog out of the, get that dog out of here. Okay. <laughs> okay, take a little piece, please. Do you have to taste a little bit? Okay. The duel was a good addition. She, he's, oh my god. <laughs> we have a kid that's peeing. Um, this is delicious. A little Chuck Hughes sauce might make it a little better. Oh my god. Yes. Fish tacos for breakfast tomorrow. Peace out!